So we come to the last section of this chapter, which is kinetic theory of gases. And we're going to assume that the gas is an ideal gas. Okay, so we're going to assume that all the particles of the gas are identical, whether they are molecules or atoms. There are no long range forces between them. So each one is moving randomly um, with this velocity, which is commensurate with the temperature. That there are a large number of particles and the separation between the particles is also large. Uh, we we'll assume that the molecules obey Newton's laws of motion. So F equals M into A will still apply. Uh, but as a whole, they are moving randomly, just depending on the temperature. Okay. Um, we're also going to assume, because it's an ideal gas, all collisions are perfectly elastic. So that means they bounce off each other and they bounce off the walls. Okay. Um, okay. So let's first interpret temperature. Uh, we looked at it before that temperature is related to the internal energy of the gas. The internal energy is a sum of potential and kinetic energies. Since we have no forces between the particles, we have no potential energies. We have nowhere to store energy, no bonds. So we have only kinetic energy. So we're going to take the average kinetic energy, which is half mv squared, and we're going to take the average of the v squared, the mass is constant, yeah? Equals three by two kbt. This is the Boltzmann constant again, okay? So my average kinetic energy equals three by two kbt, or on the macroscopic scale, this is the same as saying total kinetic energy for all the particles. We're going to multiply with the number of moles. So we're going to get 3 over 2 nRT this time. Yeah? So you need to know these formulae. The relationship between kinetic energy and temperature. You can see that 3 over 2 is constant. N is a certain number of moles. It's fixed. R is a constant. So kinetic energy varies directly with temperature. The higher the kinetic energy, the higher the temperature. And vice versa, the higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energy of the particles. Okay. So next concept, internal energy, which is represented by this symbol U. And it's defined as U equals three over two nRT. Internal energy, remember, is the sum of all the energies. So it's the sum of kinetic and potential energies. That same 3 over 2 nRT that we had in the previous page. Since all my energy is only kinetic for this gas, so the total internal energy must be the same, 3 over 2 nRT, which was the same as the total kinetic energy. Yeah? Okay. This is for a monoatomic um, gas which has no way of storing potential energy. If you have a polyatomic gas and it has bonds, and so then you're no longer taking it as an ideal gas. You're, you're considering the bonds between the particles. It can then store potential energy in those bonds. And this expression will get uh, more complicated. You'll have more degrees of freedom. Okay. So we're not going to go into this case. We'll just assume that this applies. We always have monoatomic gas. Let's do a simple problem on this. Nuclear fusion, the energy source of the sun, hydrogen bombs and fusion reactors occurs much more readily when the average kinetic energy of the atoms is high. That is, the temperature is high. Suppose you want the atoms for your fusion experiment to have the average kinetic energies of these many joules. What temperature is needed? So I need to connect my average kinetic energy to temperature. I'm going to take average kinetic energy equals 3 over 2 kBT. Yeah? You know this value here, it's what's given to you, 6.4 times 10 to the minus 14 equals 3 over 2, look up Kb and solve for T. T will be in Kelvin, yeah? That's all you need to do. And it's done for you over here, okay? So Kb, you will find is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin. When you put all that, you will get a temperature of 3.09 times 10 to the power 9 Kelvin. Do another example, talk you through this. Calculate the number of molecules in a cubic meter of gas at standard temperature and pressure, which is approximately defined as zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure. So you want to take R in atmospheres, yeah? So we're going to use PV equals NKBT, 
This is the microscopic version of the ideal gas law because we want the number of molecules, which is uppercase N. Solve for N, get PB over KBT. KB is same as K, lowercase k here. Pressure, one atmosphere is so many pascals, right? Uh, volume is one cubic meter, they told you that. Take the same standard value of KB and temperature is zero degrees Celsius, convert to Kelvin, that's 273. You can write the 0.15 if you like or not. Solve this and you get 2.68 times 10 to the power 25 molecules. So when I started explaining this problem, I said, we could make sure you take R in atmospheres, the expression of R that uses atmospheres. We didn't actually do that in this problem. Um, since we decided to use the mi microscopic expression with uppercase N. If you use PV equals lowercase N R T, you will get the number of moles N then, and you need to multiply that by Avogadro's number to get the actual number of molecules or atoms, yeah? molecules here. So what we did was the microscopic version. Okay, next problem. What is the average kinetic energy of the gas molecule at 20 degrees Celsius, room temperature? Yeah. So you know how to go between kinetic energy, average kinetic energy, and temperature. You're just going to use this formula. Instead of average kinetic energy, you're going to find this value out on the left hand side by setting it equal to 3 by 2 kb times t you need to convert it to kelvin yeah? the only thing you need to do then use your calculator um, so that works out to be 293 kelvin put that value in here this is kb and you calculate the kinetic energy 